is like the crazier, the more horrible and terrible their situation was, is almost like proportionately where they go to. Absolutely. Like it's, it's, the, it's the weirdest thing. Is there like a way that you can like, like just force these terrible things on people early? Like, cause like, yeah. like I don't want to do it at 40. Like I'd love to do it at like 20 and get it out of my system. Absolutely. Like, but like, that's so fun. Like, like the way I grew up, I grew up like a really, cons- a really conservative home and, um, and a, you know, great family life and all that kind of stuff. And like, you go on this like little path and you're like, like wait a second. You start like looking around and you're like, these people have these crazy stories like something crazy is going to happen at some point it's like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're like yeah you're like, you're like, going, like yeah, oh my yeah. gosh and it happened for me that's for sure and and now coming out of that I'm like oh now I get it because there was like that was the purpose Absolutely. behind that and it had to happen so like I'm glad it happened then and not you know later so those that haven't hit that kind of rock bottom place and haven't gone through these traumatic events that are in a let's just say a corporate job a nine to five a salary position where Um, They're comfortable where they're at, but they want more and they want to um, uh, start a business or do something on their own. You know, how do you how do you how do you make that huge change there and that transition into that lifestyle and and make that jump? And for me, um, there's a lot of different ways you can you can attack this question. But I think the way that I look at it is if you've got a tightrope walker and they got a huge net underneath them and I can go pay to go watch this, I'm not really gonna be super excited, you know? Like I'm not gonna be thrilled about going to watch some guy that has that safety net underneath him because there's really no danger involved. Like, okay, he fell and and walked off. But if you throw a typer walker with no net up there, you know, I'll pay a bunch of money to watch that because that, like, I'm gonna be in knots the entire time because it's dangerous, you know? Like, Mm -hmm. the, the safety is taken away. And I think each person has to realize within themselves what degree in which they can go all the way no net or they need that little bit of safety to kind of start and then build upon that for some people they just need to cut bait 100 percent and then say today's the last day of this the first day of that and then go all in that's some people's personality other people they need to take time for, so when they get off work at five get home, see the family, have dinner. But once 7, 7.30, 8 p.m. rolls around, you know, till midnight, it is just nonstop work uh, on the other business, the side hustle, whatever that may be, and until that becomes big enough to start replacing chunks of income in the full-time career to where that transition is a little bit easier. I think everybody, everybody kind of has to know where they are, uh, and that's why we talk about self-awareness so much and kind of understanding where you are in that spectrum. Um, mm-hmm. But regardless, there has to be this idea of where you want to be, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now.